Contestant number two, Jake Morrison, on deck, please. Coming all the way down from Leander, Texas. His second time in the punt off, he was here two years ago in 2015. And he got married at a Star Wars Mass Effect wedding. Yeah, I'm pretty nerdy. Uh, this is dedicated to my wife, who's from Wisconsin. She's not been feeling very well, and she's rather fed up with the isolation. I told her I didn't give a damn about the cost. I wanted to show her a good a time, even if it may tag it out of her. We went to the aquarium. Her favorite there was a Monterey. Jack was his name. I wanted to take her to see a movie, but she told me she had already seen it. So by that time, we realized it was cheddar for her to stay inside. So we invited friends over for some Dungeons and Dragons, because she plays this awesome barbarian named uh, Oriana, who fights with a great axe. They ready to fight the dread monster queen Gorgon Zola. With the permission of the local mayor, her party carefully built a defensive rock fort for their town. There was no way they couldn't withstand the onslaught of such gruyers and foes, or so I thought. While the mayor was giving a speech, a goblin assassin drew a bow and fired. As a darrow flew in, flew in, with no sound but a swiss of air whisking by, the mayor was taken out. I thought that Aaron Colby the end, as the party was under attack before they could come to a decision. My wife ran into the woods, thinking to flank the enemies. She saw a bear and asked hopefully if it was a magic bear. I said, sorry, love. It's a common bear. <laughs> she was all derby from splashing through mud in the woods, so she blended right in and was able to ambush the monsters. But by that point in the night, she was really tired, so we called it a night. It goes to show that even when you are sick, there are still tons of things to do if you put your mind to it. And that's my story. Okay, so long. <laughs> Judges scores seven, five, six, six, eight, eight. Got it, Mark? Okay. Well, the